Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. Now, what would you say has been the greatest thing, you know, that Showbiz has done for you? Ah, Blackie. Black, ah. <laughs> showbiz has done a lot for me. Mm -hmm. Showbiz has done a lot for me. And I can't be, I can't, I can't overemphasize it. I'll continue to thank and praise God. Thank him for the numerous talents that he has given me, the blessings that he has given me. And um, able to raise kids, nurture kids. My first son today works with, with Cool FM in Port Harcourt. He's, a, he's an OAP, though he read political science, but he likes, he likes entertainment. Some of my children are already showing signs of it. So I'm thankful to God that um, each day of my life, when I look back, I say, ah, we came this far. And it's been a blessing. And I won't be able to impact that blessing to other people. So it, it's a heart of gratitude to God. Mm, interesting. interesting. I know this work never stops. It continues to work. I do. I do. Now, what, what would you have wanted Shabis to do for you that he hasn't done yet? Mm. <sighs> Royalties. <laughs> Royalties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to look back at the work I've done. I, you know, when I went to the US one time with, with the Actors Guild, when, I told you about we were trying to twine with them, went to one and visited to SAG, Screen Actors Guild, and it took us one whole building. It was all about royalties, residual money. So people from all over the country mm -hmm. come to that place to get residual money for everything that they've done. Mm -hmm. Anytime they show any of their phone, if it's 15 times they run it, they'll bring the money, this is your residual money. So it, it, was like a, it was like a piggy bank. And you put money, they can always fall back on it. And that's the biggest issue that we have today in entertainment because a lot of us do not know how to manage ourselves in times of in times of fruition, in times of harvest. We don't know. A lot of us have been rec reckless. Now, mm -hmm. even me, even me. So I'm not an exception. <laughs> I like that. I like that. But, but thankfully, I like I have, I, 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 thankfully, I have a wife who is able to talk about investment opportunities and. She's always ringing it into your head. You cannot act for the rest of your life. Once you get to 70, 80, you might not be able to do that again. So uh, the, the chances that, so we begin to invest and all that. Um, when those residual money don't come, that's why you see a lot of people fall ill and will go cap in hand begging for money. And I, I must say a big thank you to, to Emeka Rulers for starting the AGN Foundation. And it's working because people are beginning to put money there mm -hmm. for, for things like this. But, but how long will, how long will we continue cap in hand begging for money? So it's time for us to sit down with the various guilds, various producers, particularly producers, and let's talk about residual money. The minute you bring that topic of residual money, they start screaming, they start shouting. But at one point in time, we'll have to sit down and discuss residual for actors. Residual. Musicians are already getting it because they have what you call the copyright thing. Most yeah. uh, Coson and the rest of them, yeah. they even know they are fighting, but it, it's a step in the right direction. It's a step in right. So I think it's time for Nollywood to have that. Even producers will get residual money. Interesting. DOPs Interesting. will get residual money. It's actors will get residual. Once you're, you're involved in a project and it worked very well. I don't see any reason why I should do a movie 10 years ago and you bring it down, show it on Netflix now and I don't get residual money for it. You tell me you've paid me off. What the heck is that? <laughs> you paid me off. Did you, not pay, did you not pay for showing the movie on Netflix or paying for showing on Nevada or showing it on, on Iroko? Were you not pay for it? So something should come into my account. Interesting. It should happen. It should on African magic. It should every. I need to have something in my account, and I think it's time for actors. The minute you bring that up, everybody starts screaming and saying, "Why? What's he talking about?" At a, at some point in time, we will have to sit down and discuss this. It may not be now, but, but it I'm sure. Happen. 
within the given us the next three four years we'll be able to sit down and discuss this it's not, it's, it's not rocket science it can be done interesting and beneficial to all people interesting now what what, what is the costless mistake that any actor can make in terms of there's so many mistakes actors can make the costliest in terms of everything Oh, well, for me right now, the costliest I think anybody can do is trying to arrogate so much knowledge and and uh, power to yourself and influence to yourself. You know, you think you're the eat right now. You're happening because people are praising you and all that. So you think you're the eat. You might just miss your way. Mm. You might just miss the direction. Interesting. Um, there are a lot of mistakes that happen. I mean, I, I've had my own fair share of mistakes. <laughs> but I won't go wrong. <laughs> so you learn, you learn from it. So what you, what you do right now? Is when you walk, you walk steeply. You know, you know, you know. When they say uh, stilt walking, you walk like 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 soldiers stilts mm -hmm. up. You have to be careful and look over you as well. Not just look one way. Look over you. Look in front of you. Walk steeply and don't make mistakes. Just be careful. Interesting. And all of us seek God's guidance. The most important seek God's guide, God's guidance. If you talk to God, He will listen and show you the way. All right. Now, Black Arrow, what do you normally consider before accepting a role? Well, first I read the script thoroughly, in and out, and decide if I want to do do the role. Um, two things here. It's either you're doing it because the script is good. Or you're doing it because the pay is good. But I like to do it because the pay is good and the script is good. <laughs> I like to do that. Yeah. yeah but, 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 having said, but having said that, it's not all the time that you have your cake and eat it. Sometimes mm. you look at the script and say, listen, if I do this job, it might fetch me other jobs. So you go ahead and do it. And regardless of whatever you were paid, mm. you, just, you just do it. Wow. Now, what, what I've, I've done quite, a, I've done quite a, a lot of favors for producers, young producers. I've done a whole lot of favors. And God help me. Interesting. God help me. Interesting. Now, what, what, what excites you most about being an actor? It's the ability to be different characters at, a different, at different times. Mm. The ability. I'm here this minute, I'm this this minute, I'm that this minute, I'm that this minute. You, the metamorphosis, it's, mm. it's incredible. You become like the elephant, you know, you acquire so much knowledge as you go along. If you're smart, if you're a smart actor, you acquire a lot of knowledge as you go along. You just acquire a lot as you go along. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing when you leave other characters and you step out of it and become yourself again. Clean up yourself and then you step in again and become. All right. You know, it's, it's so much fun, good fun. All right. Someone says, what role are you playing in the movie Blackout? Blackout? <laughs> That's... I don't know about anything. <laughs> All right. Maybe they've done a blackout. All so. right. All right. Now, what puts you off, you know, about fame and stardom? Uh, intrusion into your privacy. So mm. much intrusion to privacy. And everybody, at a point in time, everybody thinks they know you because they watch you on, on, on screen. And so there's this intrusion and there's this talk about you. Sometimes you stop and ask yourself, are they really talking about me? <laughs> People don't even know you. <laughs> yes, that's true. People don't even know you would say they know you. <laughs> they arrogate a lot that they know you. They think they know you in and out. Some, some, uh, and the worst is even the way they call my name sometimes. You hear some people say, Arishi. <laughs> I say, Arishi. <laughs> It's, it's so irritating when I have my name, and then you find that whenever you go out, area boys are waiting for you outside. Everybody wants a piece of you; they want money from you because they, they just believe that once they see you, there's money in your bag or your boots. So you just start spray, spraying the money. I that and its own gets gets to me. But what can you do? That's the society you find yourself. So we've got to adapt to it. Sometimes I give and sometimes I just educate them. Some of them get very unruly when you don't give them. They say all sorts of nasty things. They swear all sorts of profanities. <laughs> but I sometimes sometimes being human I get very angry with them sometimes. But sometimes I just educate them. Sometimes I play with them and what my whatever I have I give them and they you just hear that you get mouth, you get mouth. <laughs> no, you find a lot of them. You find them doing all that. But 
but the truth, <laughs> but the truth in all, the truth be told in all, you need them. Mm. You need them ahead. Mm. So you need to continue fixing them because one day you might get into trouble and you don't know who your angel among them will be. <laughs> that was the truth. I like that. I like that. I like that. Now, of all the actors that you have worked with, who have you learned the most from? As well, I don't want to do that. That, 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 that I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. No, because a lot of actors will be watching me now or listening or being told. I don't want to do that. Every actor I've learned, I've worked with, I've learned something. Let's leave it at that. I don't want to go that route because when I go that route, it's going to cause a lot of problems for me. And being a public figure and being a senior actor, I also have to respect a lot of my younger actors and my older actors as well. So I learn from every one of them, from each and every one of them. We impact on each other, as a matter of fact. And we sometimes sit down to discuss the role. When we're set filming, and I think a young actor didn't do right, or even an older actor, I say, I suggest, why don't you do it like this? And um, we find it very comfortable with ourselves. Um, but I don't want to go say, this is the best person I work with. No. Remember that I say, you're as good as your last movie. You're as okay. good as your last movie. All right. Now, there's a Max the Maxwell here. Who wants to know where you're from? Of course, maybe you, the person can hear from the horse's mouth. I'm not a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you got me there, Macaro. I'm from Badagri. My mother is Igbo. Um, my father's Badagri. Seven generations down from my father, all the way down to great, 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 great grandfather to my grandfather. All married Igbos. That's it. I got married to Igbo. Divorced. Married Igbo again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, before Maxwell gets with, with his question, you were telling us about yeah. um, the actor you have learned the most from. Now, talking about directors, yes. of all the directors you've worked with, who has made the, the most impact of all the directors you have worked with? A lot of them. I can't even reel out names. A lot of them, both young and old and in the middle. I've worked with quite a number of directors and... Uh, it's 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 great. It's 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 exciting. It's accelerating when you when you when you you work with a lot of directors who know their onions. Though there are some that they're just neither here nor there. You just you just manage it. But the truth be told, I've worked with quite a number of young actors who they even learn from you as an actor. We have a lot of directors who learn from you as an actor, and you tell them, hey, listen. I think, and the good thing is that because I'm also a director, I'm a member of the Directors Guild of Nigeria as well. I'm a, I'm a director as well. And so it makes it easy for us to work together. So when we're working, I say, why don't you do this? Why don't you try this? Why don't you? And when I work with them sometimes, you know, um, I just let myself go. I just, I'm a tool in your hand. So tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. I don't just get so cocky and say, because I'm Shagwa Rinze, I've done this, uh, I've been 40 years in the business. And so because of that, um, my Lord, it over you must, you must, when I come, my, there's this air of arrogance oozing around me. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Interesting. And so you learn. Interesting. So we, we exchange ideas and we work. So that's, that's how, how I like to work. I like to let myself go and just be a tool in the director's hand. What you to do? And then, so long as, in the long run, we achieve the picture. The big picture, the final thing. And that's, that's most important. Thing for Interesting. Us. So which actor is your closest friend? Your closest actor friend. Ah, <sighs> very tough one. No, uh, Rams is one of them. Okay. Arabi is one of them. Um, uh, hmm. As you want to put trouble. <laughs> 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 one of the act, one of the young actor I like that I'm a bit quite close to is Alex Ekubo. I, I I like him. Um, is a great. Is great. We're fun to be around Alex Cooper. You laugh and laugh and laugh. We, we banter a lot. Um, uh, Nobody Young, Sam Dede. Yeah, well, quite a number of them like, like that, that we, we just walk and when we see, just banter. We, Fred and Mata, we just see, we just let go of each other. We just go crazy. We <laughs> set and talk and see all kinds of manner of things. Interesting. Now, away from work, when Shegu is not working, I mean, what, what, how do you deploy your spare time? 
What are the things? How do you while away time? I listen to music a lot and I read a lot. I read, I like to ask questions. I, so I, I, I find myself researching, reading books, trying to find out things and, and all that. So I don't, I don't limit myself, but I, I listen to music a lot. Music uh, for me is a panacea. It suits me. I just, I'm, particularly I'm listening to slows and I listen to a lot of gospel music as well. It's just, it's just something that just edifies and uplifts me. I, I just like that. I just like, sometimes I just lay down and, le and just levitate. I just lie down, listen to music and just levitate and find myself floating. Um, it's a lot of exercise. It's like yoga too, but this one we call it, levi we call it levitation. I like to do it. Just lie down, just play music, close my eyes and I'm in a different world entirely. Interesting. And, um, Interesting. I'm, 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 I'm embarrassed. All right. Now, I need, us, I need you to tell us briefly about your family. I mean, you just said uh, you married one Igbo person. It didn't work out. You married another Igbo person. Would you like to tell us just briefly about uh, Shege? The, you know, the, the family I, I, I like to keep, I like to keep, you know, I like to keep my, my private life private. I, this is social media. There's a lot going on social media. So I, I, what I do as much as possible is just keep, keep my family close knit and don't say much about them. But what I can, I can do right, is the possible show you just a, a picture. Oh, and you just see, okay, that's my wife and I, that's my, my kids, uh, my kids, that's my, my, my daughter. And of course, that's my, my son. So um, I, we're close knit family. I just like to keep my family close knit. I, I don't like talking about my family outside. I just let you know what I do in terms of my work. Uh, there's so much intrusion on social media. I, so I, I, I keep away from it. I just keep away from it and focus on... I like to protect my family. It's the most important thing. Family is everything. When you go out, do everything, come back, your family are there for you. So I, I like to stay close with my family and not just talk to my family and put everybody out there. So I'm a very private person, extremely private person. So I like you to enjoy my works, to enjoy my work and all that. My family, I keep them. Interesting. Now, what would you say has been the greatest lesson that life has taught you? So many lessons. So many. The greatest things. one. It's an array. The there are no greatest one. ones because <laughs> when, you think, as a, when you think that one is great, you find out now it's better. <laughs> so, so what I do is uh, I take one step at a time. I've learned a lot. The good, the bad, the ugly, the very ugly. I've seen a, a mix of all. I've been hard hit. I've enjoyed life as well. I've been at the top echelon. I've been at the lowest cadre. I've been at my lowest ebb. So many things. It's, it's just a marketing mix of everything. So for me, life is about learning every day. Mm. It's the most important thing. You learn every day of your life. You learn every day. And trust is another thing. Um, you learn to trust, you learn to leave, you learn to uh, follow people the way they come. When they bring it to you, just follow them the way they come. Um, keep an open mind. That's the most important thing. Just keep an open right. mind. That's do, do, you, do you have any regrets? Of learning. Do, do, do you have any regrets? Not to regret right. things. But do, do, do you have any regrets? No, no. I, I, I've learned not to regret. I was telling you, I, I've learned to step on my regrets. My regrets become my step. I, I, I climb on my regrets and get to the next levels. Because when you, it's, it's, when you do those things about regrets and all that, it's a burden. I'd like to travel light. It's a burden. You just keep, so every minute you keep going back, oh, this happened. You start the blame game or no blame game. No, move on. For crying out, move on. You don't need that. So for everything that I've learned in life, it's, it's been a step. It's like climbing a staircase. So each of them take me to the next level. I don't make sure that I don't repeat them. That's the most important thing. Make sure that I've learned from it. Some hurt badly, but just move on. There's nothing you can do about it, really. Nothing you can right. do about it. It's happened. It's happened. So move on. Okay. In your journey through life and through uh, showbiz, I need you to mention one individual you know, who has impacted your life the most. Just one person. I can't mention one person. I have to mention two. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I mentioned the two. <laughs> Bayo Odunaye was a man who saw me and said, hey, come and go and do dramatic art. I actually wanted to send me to London, but unfortunately, that was the time. I won't go into the details of what happened that time because it was 1980, 80-something, okay. 84. Okay. So I don't want to go into those details. We had, we had a problem. Britain and Nigeria had a problem. Then so I could go. But um, 
at the end of the day, I got admission into UFA. Uh, Biodynia has been so instrumental to my life. Uh, now, even talking about Uncle P, I have to, after this call, call him. <laughs> Chuck Mike has been a great influence in my life as well as an, as an actor, training me as an actor. So, All right. you know, you ask me in the, you right. ask him in different spheres. So, in, terms of, in terms of voiceover, in terms of music, my very good friend, Kingsley Oboro. Interesting. Interesting. Now, we are going to end uh, this session on a happy note. Um, Mr. Shegu Arinze and Mr. Azua Arinze are going to sing a song. And the title of the song, the song goes thus. Listen now. Listen to the song we are going to sing. Oh, listen. <laughs> you know, just listen to the song. I know you know, you know who sang the song and uh, you know the lyrics. It goes something like this. Okay. Since I found you, I found my <laughs> dream. You're my You're dream. My so you need to sing that song. So let's wrap up. I mean, it's your song. That was one of the things, one of the things I first heard about you, you know, before acting took over. So I need yeah. to, yes. Okay, I need you. Let, let, me, let, me, let me try. Let me try. Yes, please. Darling, okay. Darling, Darling you know that some has me. Yes. Some man, some, some dreams can wait like I will. Since I found you, I found heaven. You're my dream. You're my dream. You're my dream. Black Arrow, I know you thought I had forgotten the song. I didn't forget. <laughs> I didn't have to say it for the last. I wanted to start with it. I said no. Maybe let's uh, let's take the interview first, then we'll end with the song. Thank you so so much, my brother. Oh, do you have that? Do you have that song? Do you have that song somewhere? I, I remember. If I check, I can. I remember you are wearing a white shirt with a tie, but the tie didn't get to your neck. You, you know, yeah. So for you to know that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Please find that song for me. I, I want that song. I will. I will. I will. Thank you so, so very much. Uh, I thank you. So much fun. This is so much fun talking thank to you. you. I appreciate thank it, please. You. I really do thank appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you some other time. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank yes, you. yes. Thank I mean, that's, we got, thank what you. we got for the family. Well, right, good, night. <laughs> good night. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, to all those who joined us, thank you yeah, very bye. much. Let's do it again some other time. Thank and thank you, you to all thank my you. fans around the world. If they're watching yeah. you, thank you so much for your, all your and everything. Thank, that you. thank you. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank, thank you. you so much. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.